Wavetool Tutorials, Section 5, Chat. In this video, we will send chat messages between Wavetool endpoints, customize chat message appearance, and define macro buttons for frequently used messages. Wavetool Chat allows you to chat between Wavetool Master and any of the Wavetool remote devices in your network. In the Master Wavetool, open the chat window by selecting the chat button on the top bar. To send a chat message, simply type in the text you want to send and either press the send button or hit enter. To reply to Wavetool Master's message from Wavetool Remote, open up the chat window in Wavetool Remote and just like before, type your message and press the send button. With iOS Mobile Remote, swiping left takes you to the chat window. Just like the others, type your response and send it with the send button. By default, any chat messages will be sent to all members of Wavetool Chat, but it is also possible to send a message to just one member only. You can do this by selecting the member from the drop down menu in the bottom left corner of the chat window. To draw more attention to your message, you can send a flash message instead of a normal message. First, type the text you want to send, and instead of pressing the send button, press the flash button. On the receiving end, a flash notifier is shown. The flash notifier can be easily cleared by just clicking it, but the message will remain in the chat window. If you have SCP or RF interference alerts engaged, the chat window will show these two. For messages you send regularly, you can define eight macro chat messages. They're sent by hitting the macro buttons on the right side of the text field or by pressing the corresponding function keys, F1 through F8. To define your macro button texts, go to Preferences, then select Chat. Now, just type in the text you want to assign to each of the macro buttons. You can't use a custom text for button 8. Macro button 8 is reserved for the name of the currently selected channel strip. Sending a macro chat message can also be triggered by MIDI. Determine the MIDI command for each macro button with the MIDI learn function. In this window, you can also change the chat username, adjust the font size and set timeout for flash messages. Alerts and snapshot changes can be filtered out from the chat here too.